All right, type a one at the chat box if you can hear me and also if you can see the share screen, I greatly appreciate it. <coughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the last day of the open house. How did everybody enjoy these past two days? Did you guys like it? Did you guys make money? We made money every day. Plus, we're sitting on massive cash, guys. <laughs> natural gas, guys. Natural gas. That's all I have to say. Natural gas. Made my week. Made my week. Natural gas. All right. It ran into 8.55, I believe. We're going to take a look at it in just a second. Yeah, 8.55. 8.55.1. Because I had an alert at 8.50. Closed it. All right. Perfect. All right. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So good morning, everybody, and welcome to the last day of the open house. My name is Anka Metcalf, and uh, today is Thursday. It is August 11th, 2022. It is 904 Eastern. So welcome. For those of you that are new, thank you so much for joining and thank you for taking time off your busy schedules or other memberships that you may have ongoing to spend three days with me. Uh, I see a lot of new faces in here today again. So for those of you that do not know me, my name is Anka Metcalf. I'm the CEO and founder of TradeOutloud.com, which is a trading education firm that is specialized in educating individuals how to day trade, swing trade, the equities and the futures market, but not limited to these. We teach, so we teach traders how to day trade, swing trade, actively invest and invest in any market, whether you want to do cryptos or you want to do Forex, you apply the same routine and principles that and strategies that we talk about in here. Uh, I'm a professional independent trader that has been focused on day trading, swing trading, and active investing for the last 20 years. I come with 10 plus years in investment banking. I also run a swing trading service for stocks and ETFs since 2010 with transparent track record posted on our website. I also run the futures trading room. Um, this is actually an example of how I run the room. And I have been doing this since 2017. <clears throat> I have, and I used to manage day trading and swing trading accounts for my clients. <clears throat> I would say high net worth clients. Um, like I said before, we do offer trading education for those of you that want to learn how it's done and want to learn how to day trade and swing trade without any kind of stress. Because if you're stressed, and if you are excited when you're trading and when you are really sad when you're taking a loss or doing something wrong, because trading should be boring. Uh, as you probably have seen within these past couple of days, I specialize in high velocity trades. I have inflection points where I get into trades. And uh, as you can see, I don't take a plethora of trades. Yesterday was literally a... Uh, it was not very common for me to take four trades or five trades. Uh, I usually take between one and three trades. But when the environment is hot, yes, we play the environment, right? So you have to play it while it's hot because the next day is not a guarantee on the environment. So we don't know whether you're going to have a stall in momentum or you're going to get a really boring day or you may not get a trade. So you have to press the, uh, press the pedal when it's hot. Uh, I'm also the designer of an institutional proprietary trading system that is based on A layers of price support resistance. So I'm not only looking at supply and demand, that it represents only, let's say, 20% of the equation. Uh, I focus on a whole lot of support resistance, multi time frame dimension, uh, et cetera, plus multiple layers, uh, eight to be precisely, to be precise. I focused on trigger time. So as you probably have noticed in yesterday's trading session and in the day before, uh, I mentioned some timings in the market that are very important. These are proprietary timings. You're not going to find them anywhere on the internet. 
uh, the 930 to 935, 945, which are reaction time thin to the market. And if you're playing the open, if you're specialized in trading the open like I do, then you need to focus on these timings. Uh, also, we have the 10 o'clock, we have the 1030 primetime trigger time, then we have 1115, and then we're getting ready for the London session closed at 1130. So these are specific a uh, specific trigger time. There are also specific price zones that we pay attention to uh, on the technical charts. And these are areas that institutions look to scale into trades or to scale out of trades because institutions do not buy like me, probably three, five contracts, right? Or whatever the number is uh, by position sizing. They have a set amount of contracts that they need to enter the trade with. So they scale into trades, they scale out of trades. I don't scale into trades because I don't trade a phenomenal amount of uh, a phenomenal number of uh, uh, contracts. Uh, so therefore, there is no need to scale in. I know exactly where my entry is. As you saw yesterday and the day before yesterday, there were laser shot precisions. They're, they have laser shot precision. I don't wing it. I don't say, oh yeah, this is the area where we should get in. Oh, I'm not going to tell you the area because maybe the price is going to flatten. No, it's that area. You get it at that price. Uh, you put the stop at the specific price and the targets at specific prices. All right, chart synchronicity and divergency plays a major role into the markets. We always talk about it in the pre-market game plan, and you're going to hear it in just a few moments. And it's very important to take into consideration because based on synchronicity and divergency, you are going to uh, also be able to gauge the relative strength and weakness, and therefore you're going to know what's, what specific index you're going to be trading that day. Quick disclaimer, uh, all information provided by us is for educational purpose only. It should not be construed as investment advice regarding the purchase or sale of securities, options, futures, forex, uh, or any other instrument of any kind. If you want to learn more about Trade Out Law, you can head on to our website, tradeoutlaw.com. You can visit us on our social media channels on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And if you have a specific question, feel free to ask at info at tradeoutloud.com. Myself or my team are going to get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, rules of the game. So first of all, no questions in the first hour because our focus is trading. Why? Because I want to make money. That's period. Okay. Uh, we will allocate time at the end of the trading session for Q&A. Small accounts, yes, they can participate in any trade setup using micros and, of course, via position sizing. If here, if you're here for the very first time, please watch the dynamics before you decide to sign up, whether for the monthly or for the yearly memberships. Position sizing is key. We recommend traders use one or two percent of their account size per trade. Um, what do I do? So uh, when I get into a trade, I set probably two to three targets. If there is a scalp, then there's only going to be one target. But usually I have a multitude of targets that I set because if I have a runner up or down, I want to make sure that there's a separate reaction and a scale out for me uh, into those specific targets. So if that's your plan, uh, this is what I do. So at target one, I exit half because usually as the price hits target one, the price has the tendency if it doesn't have the dynamic and depending on the time of the day, whether it's one of those 935, 945, 10 o'clock or 1030, may not continue into the second target without a pullback. So I scale out half of my position at target one. I scale another quarter at target two, and I don't take any profits if I have a target three, four, five, uh, but I let the price run into those targets and I let the market take me out. So that means that I'm trailing based on price action. If you guys should be trading with only one contract, full or micro, uh, traders will look to trail since no partial profits uh, can be taken and they're not possibility for you. I do provide instruction for those of you that are trading with only one contract, but please make sure that if you're trading with only one contract, uh, you're looking to lock in target one or two. Most likely if you're trading with one contract, you either don't know how to position size or you have a very small account size. 
So you want to chunk up that account so you can grow it, so you can trade more size. So that means that you're chunking it up at target one or if strong momentum at target two and you're done for the day. Sample for the trades that are called. For example, if I should be calling a trade into the m and &E and you're first going to hear the simple, then you're going to hear the direction, whether long or short, and in the trading room is going to be posted as L or long or S for short. The first number is going to be the entry. In any circumstance, under any circumstances, you should never get the, you should never enter the trade before the call price. So you get it at the call price and you don't even get it like three to four points away because you're probably getting into target. So the first number is the price, the entry price X means buy with the stop. The second number represents the stop. And then we have the targets. Uh, if the markets should be very fast and if we are looking for a scalp opportunity, uh, please uh, take note that I may not have time to post the trade in the trading room. So stay on my queue. I will repeat it before the trigger. So once again, before the trigger, at least several times. So you guys uh, can position size and can put your limit orders in. All the trades will be called out loud on the mic and also will be posted in the trading room, exception being those specific scalps that happen once in a blue moon. Uh, please be on time. If you're late, uh, we will not answer questions that have already been answered. What to expect today? So in a few moments, we will begin the pre-market game plan for NASDAQ, S&P, the Dow, Russell, oil, gold, and of course, we will mention the first trade that I called on Tuesday, which is natural gas, which we're sitting comfortably at over $5,800 per contract right now. We're going to be analyzing the current market context. We're going to go over news and analyze the impact and price action and what, should, what we can expect from the price gyration from news if we should have some throughout the trading session major earnings reports from prior day close and current day open, identifying trading opportunities, identifying high patterns, waiting for the trade and determining the execution strategy and parameters of the trade. We're also going to dive into live trading, obviously, because that's why we're here. We're here to make money. And of course, at the end, we're going to recap the session. We focus on momentum, continuation patterns, trend trading, counter trend trading, day trading, swing trading, pretty much everything under the sun. How day trades will be called, once again, for those of you that are logging in late, all trades will be called out loud on the mic. All trades will be posted in the trading room in caps. If it is a momentum trade, there will be no time to post because I trade to make money. Obviously, that's my number one purpose to be here. And uh, if we don't have time to post it in the chat, in the chat room, obviously, it would be called on the mic before actually the price hits the entry. We only use limit orders since we know exactly when to enter the trade and stop the trade. So please, when you, when I call the trade, okay, pay attention to the entry price and to the stop price. Also, sample of the trade call once again, the first thing that I do is call the symbol out, the direction, whether long or short. The first number represents the entry. The last, the second number represents the stop. And we're going to have uh, at least, you know, between one and three, four, five targets. Let's begin with earnings for today. Today is Thursday. We had six flags that reported earnings. Last night we had Walt Disney. Do you guys remember what I was telling you yesterday? You can review the recordings. I said the Dow may be in play, right? Because it may be the first uh, index that will produce a reaction, right? And we're having relative strength in the Dow. Uh, not a lot of significant earnings uh, to, to right before the market open, right, opens right now. Uh, and we had, of course, big numbers. We have the PPI and of course the market is running based on the numbers that came out. Uh, and also we had a nice inf infusion uh, in the market a little bit earlier 
uh, right before the numbers, but definitely at 8.30, we had the uh, pop up into the market and the Dow really had that energy from uh, Disney as well. So these are the numbers that came out at 1030. We have natural gas storage and uh, we have the 30 year uh, bond auction at one o'clock. And that's pretty much it for the trading session today. Today being the last day. All right. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to dive right into our pre-market game plan. We're about 10 minutes away from the open and we have plenty of time to discuss our action and our game plan, right? Okay. So we will begin with the Dow. Uh, Dow and I just want to put Disney quickly right here. There's a very strong correlation, obviously, between uh, the stock that the, the stock, the earnings results, uh, and also the activity uh, within the specific index. So as you guys can see, Disney reported after the close yesterday. We talked about it yesterday, uh, and the stock took off really good earnings, and that was reflected in the Dow. You can see that the Dow had a really nice momentum um, into the overnight. It had a really nice base, and then it snapped back uh, into the highs following the numbers, uh, the releases from this morning. Overall pattern, we're sitting in a little bit of resistance here into the Dow, uh, although we have already broken above the resistance, but we're still coiling into that resistance area because oftentimes the price breaks down and then it comes back to digest the area. So it's very well known that after we hit resistance, we may also have a digestion day. Digestion days are boring, but that means that uh, that doesn't mean that we may not have opportunities into the market, but even if you don't have opportunities, it gives you a chance to, you know, kind of have a break from the market and just talk about the market. And very well, this may be one of those days. We don't know yet. Uh, but all we know is that the price is into a lot of resistance from the weekly. We have room to about 34,000, at least into the 900, right? So we have a lot of room for the upside. We're currently trading at 900. So we have about 400 to 500 points tradable voice. So that means that the price action may snap again higher. Now for the m and &E SMP. Shorting is not an option today, by the way. Uh, so the m and &E SMP uh, also broke above the weekly resistance, has a nice juicy tradable void to about 43.20. So it does, uh, they, we do have a tradable void. We talked about these voids in yesterday's trading session as well. The one thing that is a little concerning is that at 43.20, we're running into the 200 SMA and we're gonna see a slowdown in the momentum if we should be getting there today and tomorrow. The uh, shorting, again, is not going to be an option. We're going to be looking for pullback buy opportunities within the chart pattern. So um, in focus, we're going to be um, looking at one minute, two minute charts to see if we get any kind of momentum. At this point, we are still trading into a little bit of resistance, like, just like the Dow, but the S&P has a little bit more relative strength from the structure. Now, let's talk about NASDAQ. NASDAQ has been a little bit stronger, as you can see, uh, from, um, you know, the, the mini rally that it had uh, right into the beginning of August. In the meantime, we had the Dow and we had the S&P that have been basing for literally for about eight to nine days. And we had a lot of more activity into NASDAQ because that NASDAQ was in a rush to get back up. And with a rush to pull back into the 10 EMA, remember when we traded Tuesday, we were trading back into the 10 EMA and I said, this is not bearish. We're going to go long. We're going to look for long opportunities. And here we are. Uh, the next target and the next tradable void for NASDAQ is going to be 14,000. So we have about 500 points from the mo from where we are trading right now into uh, the tradable void. So that means that we may have an easier trading environment going into Friday and going into next week. So that's very cool for us and especially really nice summer trading. All right. So um, like I said, shorting is not going to be an option. We do have some levels of support. You can see that we have a level of support into the 420. We also have a nice rising 10 EMA. So things are looking pretty good for, um, for NASDAQ as well. 
Last index is RTY. RTY a lot stronger than all the indices put together. It has a tradable void to 2000 that we've mentioned since Tuesday and 2010. So it does have the possibility to run up higher into the target. And of course, we have another tradable void from a macro level that comes into the 2100 right here. And it's coming from a FIB. All right, now let's talk my favorite winner for today and those of you that took the trade along with me this is natural gas so natural gas was a trade that was called on tuesday and it was actually called before the market opened so i'm pretty sure you guys remember it was posted in the trading room and it was also called out loud into the room before the open and also <laughs> right after our pre-market game plan because the trade did not trigger yet so we waited a you know a fair amount of time before it triggered it is a swing trade the trade duration is between two days and about two weeks or until it reaches target our entry 792 we had targets into eight dollars 815 820 830 840 and 850 and as you can see from the technical chart we made it to 855 that is a whole bunch of money like i said over you know close to six thousand dollars per contract per contract okay so that's and the risk was really really small as you guys can hear uh, as you guys can see here so we're over two r's right the risk to reward ratio so you risk one r you're getting two r's in returns it is phenomenal. So yes, it is absolutely a gorgeous trade. This alone right here, <clears throat> this trade alone could have paid literally for two years of membership in the room. <laughs> so seriously, like this is priceless. It, it is priceless. Like seriously, sorry to say this. I mean, I know. And I'm not saying this, you know, but there are opportunities in the market that, you know, you have to take. And this, this is one of them. And this is like, in an open house, in a free open house, free three days trading with me. All right. So the next thing that we're going to tackle is GC. GC is also a swing that was called on Monday. You guys were not here, but it was called on Monday. And uh, this trade is also a bullish above here into the 12. It's taking a little longer to digest. The trade is still active and still ongoing. But uh, for a trade for today, not really seeing it. So today we're going to leave it on the back burner. What I like is the rotation that is happening on the monthly. This is very powerful. I would love to see it uh, today or tomorrow, at least tomorrow, close above 1829. And if it should close above 1829, then we're off to the races probably next week. Okay. Uh, last but not least, oil. We determined yesterday that we have a level of, of inflection at $87. You guys can see it right here. So we have a level of inflection at $87. Anything that trades above 87 is bullish. Anything that is trading below 87 is bearish. If you should have a pullback into 87, remember next week or whenever that's going to happen, if it's going to happen. So if it breaks below 87, it has room to run to 80. So that can potentially be a another swing. We got a little rotational pattern here uh, that happened on the 8th. The 9th was uh, congestion. The 10th was inside as well. And today we're getting a little bit of a price continuation above the 10 EMA. Most likely the price will want to ru run into the $95. As you can see, intraday is pretty sideways right now. All right, so um, we still have a little bit more time. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you to the panel with commodities so we could talk a little bit and see what's going on uh, on the commodities front. But also, let's start with the bonds. The bonds continue to be sideways. Uh, they're still holding the rising 20 SMA, so they're still not bearish. They're borderline neutral at this point into the 141. This is 30 year bonds. The N is the 10 year bond. If you should be trading a large account, then ZB is going to be your option. If you're trading a smaller account, the 10 year bond is less pricey. So you can position size a lot better and you can participate in the trade. So it's still trading the, it's still uh, trailing off of 20 SMA. You can see that really nice price synchronicity. And every single time it tapped into the 20 SMA, it kind of rotated a little bit higher. Now it pulled back into the 20 SMA. So yeah, I can possibly rotate and go higher. Or if it starts breaking 119, then it's going to start sliding lower. 
We're getting rotational patterns to the upside in oil, our Bob, and heating oil, our Bob being gasoline. So as you can see, they're coiling fairly nicely into the 200 simple moving average, a lot stronger reaction from heating oil into the 200 simple moving average. We're having the VIX that are lower. So once the VIX are going to start imploding, the market is going to start exploding. The dollar is lower and the euro is higher at this point. We talked about the metals. So the metals are fairly sideways. We have a sideways congestion happening in silver as well. We have $20 as support currently, $21 for resistance. If silver should snap above $21, then we should see a continuation into $22. Uh, and even potentially higher. If the price is going to break below 20, then it's still going to be stuck into a sideways pattern all the way into the 19. Platinum moving higher right into the 200 simple moving average. And we have copper that is hitting a little bit of resistance into the 50 SMA. Uh, we're having a little bit of activity and I'm seeing like a little bit of a wake up action into agricultural products. We're looking at wheat. Wheat is rotating a little bit, even though sideways, but it's still trying to catch on and uh, it's trying to hook above the 20 simple moving average. We're also having corn that is still, um, you know, still sideways, still very much sideways, but it's trying to hold above the 20 SMA. I don't like the fact that uh, wheat and corn soybeans uh, are still trading within these uh, really dark clouds of um, selling action that we're getting from uh, from the death process that we're currently having on the charts. And also um, um, oats are fairly weak, still trading below the 20 SMA. Uh, soybean oil very much sideways uh, and from the wall uh, hogs are trying to snap up a little bit probably trying to go for the 16 to 110 probably for a little bit of a uh, um, snap up and we have live cattle that is uh, consolidating has been consolidated for the last five days and of course we have a beautiful natural gas right here that was our money generator uh this week massive money generator this week all right so uh right now i'm gonna take you guys uh to our watch screen we are fairly three seconds uh into the open right now and we should start you know watching to see the price action activity and try to see if we have a pattern that we identify and uh of course, you know, just watch for a trade to develop and uh, try to, you know, get our get our money, okay, for the day. All right. Every day is a beautiful trading opportunity, uh, even though sometimes you're getting like icky market environments, sometimes you're getting a lot better market environments. All right. So let's talk a little bit right now about what I'm seeing in the market in the sense of synchronicity or divergency. Uh, I'm having and I'm seeing a really nice um, uh, synchronicity blend. I'm seeing relative strength in Russell. Uh, Russell is up 0.94% structure wise and percentage wise. Uh, and we're seeing a nice balance into NASDAQ 0.70 plus percent, 0.70 plus percent in YM structure wise and also percentage wise and also the m and &E following along into these indices. So following these numbers that just came out, the momentum looks a little bit higher. So we should be looking for higher. Um, RTY definitely is one of the strongest one and it has uh, it has still a little bit of room higher, but uh, it already ran. So it may have a slowdown when it reaches 2000 and then it has massive resistance into 2008. Uh, and in 2008 and also here into the 2013. So we already have the levels that are marked. We do not have any bullish above or bearish below levels today. We have some resistance and some inflection points that we should um, be very uh, um, attentive to uh, in the trading session today. But we have runaway price today. So in case you have not seen it in the overnight trading session, we've had a strong base. So we had a move up for a couple hours from eight o'clock to uh, 10 o'clock. And then we had a base and the price action continued higher and it has been higher within the last three hours. So keep in mind that the bulls have already, uh, you know, um, gained 
a lot of strength and they may be heading for a little bit of break, right? I mean, think about it when you're running like a marathon and if you have been running for three hours nonstop, what would you do? Wouldn't you take a little break? <laughs> to get a sip of water, right? So this is what we're going to look for. We're going to look for that break in the market. Uh, we should be looking for a little bit of a pullback or another base. Exactly, Doji Mal. Let's, uh, let's wait for a setup and trigger. No setup, no trade. Yeah, no patience. Guess what? No money, okay? No patience, no money. Okay. All right. And speaking of noises, <laughs> now I have the lawnmower people here. It's like you can't catch a break. Yesterday it was the sprinkler guys. Now we have lawnmowers. Short is not an option, Jessica. You short when you have a downtrend. Right now, the dominant trend in the market is higher. Hey, Lori. <sighs> All right, we're getting a little bit of a pullback. Let me just put this. I didn't realize it's on the 15. Okay, so gold is on the daily because for us it's a swing trade and the pattern that it has uh, on the daily does not promote a day trade. So we're going to keep it on the daily. That's going to be uh, literally on the back burner. We're not going to focus on, uh, we're not going to focus on GC. Uh, we could still focus today on oil. We're outside of oil inventory numbers. So oil can potentially be a trade today. So keep that in mind. In fact, it has a breakout pattern over $93.75. The risk for the trade would be $93. So it has a fair uh, amount. Oh, and it has a gorgeous, gorgeous sandwich on the 15 minute. I think we're going to go ahead with this one. Um, all right, so we're going to call a trade in oil. So CL, whether you want to do full size or you want to do micros, uh, it's going to be depending on your account size. Uh, the entry is going to be 93.75 and it is going to be a long. Uh, the stop is going to be 93. And we're going to look, let me just, I order in. Okay. Uh, we're going to look for the following targets. Boom. Order filled, everybody. Our first order of the day. First order of the day. We don't have, we're looking for 94 target one. Ninety-four twenty, ninety-four fifty. It has a tradable void almost, almost to sixty. I'm not sure. It depends on whether the funds are going to get in, algos are going to get in. But if they break above fifty to sixty, then we may run into, um, let's say maybe, maybe 94.80 to 95, maybe, okay? But it's all based on price action. All based on price action.
price action is digesting the whole number right there. We made a high of 93.9. Indices are pulling back, Russell a little bit stronger. Let's put Russell here on the five as well. We have a gorgeous sandwich here trending above the 10 EMA. We should have some momentum at least into the 94 and 94 20. All right, so keep this stop, keep a hard stop. Robert, it's posted above. Just scroll up and you're going to see the trade. It's 93. Indices, no reaction. Let oil trade. You have the stop, you have your entry. We're filled on the order. No need to like micro watch it. Just let it, let it do its thing. NASDAQ is getting a little stronger here. Let's shift to NASDAQ. I was paying attention to our timings and at 9.35, we got the rotation. I would like to get it at 9.45, but we're five minutes away from that point, and I'm not really sure if it's going to do it or not, if it's going to hold this level or not. Nothing else is setting up. No Dow, no S&P, no Russell, nothing. The only index that is setting up right now is NASDAQ, and NASDAQ is receiving some extra love right now. Divergency stepping into the Dow. NASDAQ holding. Okay, I'm going to put an alert here so you guys can have a visual of the stop. That's where our stop is 93. Because I'm getting like a lot of private messages right now. It's like, where's the stop? Where's the stop? Just read the post, read the post. So once again, the stop in oil is 93. I have to say that I really love NASDAQ, but it's not setting up with my time. 
it had a nice rotation on the five minute, but the rotation took it. See where it punched in into 13? You guys don't see it here, but I have a set of other resistance on my other screen that is exactly at 513. NASDAQ and Russell, very strong. As with NASDAQ, Russell doesn't provide us like a really good entry. Um, Russell may be a little better than uh, NASDAQ. Russell may be a trade at 94 and a half. Let's do it. Let's do it. Russell, 94 and a half, 94 and a half entry long. The stop is going to be 85, 85 for the stop. If you guys didn't do it, let's do 95. Let's do 95, RTY 95. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. So I got it. I have to get it at 95. I don't have a choice. 95 at 85. It has not triggered yet for two uh, ticks away. Here it is. 95 by 85. Crap, typo. Oh. This is the one thing that I totally hate typing in the room. Here we go. All right, so it's 95. Okay, put my order in at 95. I couldn't get it at 94 and a half. Okay. So my order is at 95, 95 by 85. Hey, Joe. Yeah, it's so freaking fast. It just blew. But now you have time. It's 95. It's at 94.5 right now. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. It's at 94. 94, still 94. Still 94. So yes, as slow as you are on the mouse, and on the dome, whether you use it or not, you still have time to put it in. It's at 92, plenty of time. Okay, so um, targets. We're gonna be looking for 2000. That's gonna be a big inflection point. And then if trade, if it should trade above 2000, If it trades above 2000, we have room if, if, if. That is like best case scenario. If we get like a nice momentum going. Uh, 2005 and 2010. These are the targets. Jack, it's not too fast. It's at 90. You can put it in. Put it in. It's at 90. You think you have time? You have five points until it goes higher. Okay, I'm not filled in the order because I put it at 95. See, it moves super fast. There was a little algo there that triggered, probably a test algo or something. All right, rotation in the Dow, rotation in S&P currently. Very whippy market, but we're loving it, right? Every day is different, guys. That's what's so cool about the market. There's no bad day in the market. There's just another day in the market. Going to take a look at NASDAQ because I like NASDAQ too. Oh. <clears throat> the um 15 minute range in nasdaq is uh, 455 to 515 so 515 can possibly be an entry the stop should be 450 actually 450 And when the price is so fast, it is so frustrating because I have to put my order in, I have to type it in the room, I have to call it out loud, and I never look at the keyboard when I type. So
Okay. We're getting ready. All right, we are two ticks away from trigger. Hope you guys had plenty of time to get in. All right. I will answer all your questions after we're done with trading. I'm not looking at the chat, just letting you guys know. I'm not ignoring you, but I'm in trades right now. So I'm monitoring my trades and new opportunities right now. It's my time to make money. I kind of like NASDAQ here, so. I like NASDAQ long or 515. Four fifty for the stop. Yeah, I'm gonna take some Nasdaq long at five fifteen with the stop at four fifty. Parameters are already posted in the trading room, and I'm gonna go for a first target into five three zero, five five zero. These are gonna be the targets. Five six five, and then to be decided. And momentum. Okay. Oil basing. Once you have the trade on autopilot, like we do right now, all we have to do is just wait for other opportunities or just monitor the trades. Uh, Jessica, all I'm seeing is, is that it's trading. I don't know what you're watching, but. Oil is in play, Jessica. Oil's entry is 93.75. The stop is 93. It's in play. It's not running and it's not dropping. It's in play.
Here it is, Barry. We don't have any levels above, not unless it gets into this 13. But it has a lot of divergence just from the 06 and above. Oil parameters, again, 93.75 by 93. Wow, Dowski. Dowski rocking and rolling here. I haven't checked the chat, but Hugo, are you in your love YM? Yeah, so we had a lot of structural strength in NASDAQ and NASDAQ is taking its time here. Guys, if you're in the room, please respect my entry and my stop. You have the parameters. I mean, I don't know how, how otherwise to explain it. Puneet, a candle close represents garbage. Nothing. Represents nothing. Why would you, why would you put a stop there? <laughs> Guys, you have the parameters. All right, so NASDAQ is not filled yet. Uh, once again, the order is here. I'm gonna put an alert because I'm seeing you. a lot of you guys are not paying attention. And it's not even a fast market. Okay, so this is the entry for NASDAQ. And in case you do not have the parameters, I'll repeat, if you do not have the parameters, just scroll up. And you're going to see the parameters for each trade. I know, right, Evan? <laughs> like what? <laughs> uh, by the way, guys, um, uh, YM is doing a nice bull flag formation. It may start exploding over 60. And the same with uh, S&P. S&P had a test uh, into the 42. 47. So if it trades above this 42, 47, in fact, it has huge resistance. See this dotted line? The green dotted line is resistance. And if it breaks above this point, it should be running higher. Consolidation in oil. Oil is just consolidating above the 10 EMA at the moment, holding the 93. 93 is a huge support in confluence support that is coming from minor support is actually coming from resistance becoming minor support and the inflection with the rising 20 sma yeah just just please follow along if you want to learn how to you know how to execute trades i've done this for over 20 years so I know what I'm doing. Yeah, so yeah, let's watch, continue to watch YMNES. 
they look, everything looks like it wants to go higher right now. They're in a dominant trend for higher. So we are in two trays that are filled in oil and in Russell, and we have a pending order, limit order in NASDAQ that is not filled yet. Yes, exactly. Bull flag consolidation into oil, Doji Van, right on. Yeah. So we have a high of 93.57 currently in oil. And uh, so far, we're holding on to the 10 EMA. Yeah, diaper is rocking it. See, this is how you trade when you wear diapers. <laughs> He's fearless. <laughs> Hot and fearless. I'm telling you, YM wants to snap higher. If YM snaps higher and S&P snaps higher, they're all going to snap higher. Okay, oil trading below the 10 EMA right now. I have a hard stop at 93. Okay, we're out. Okay, oil tapped onto the stop, oil stopped out. We're in one trade and we have one order as well here in NASDAQ that has not been filled. And NASDAQ flying right now, order filled in NASDAQ. Sorry, I was taking a sip of water. Let's go NASDAQ. We gotta let NASDAQ pay. NASDAQ is at 23. Uh, we have a little to go to 530. See where we have the resistance here into the 530. Finally, Russell trading above our entry made a high 63.3. Our entry is 95. Ten o'clock. It's ten o'clock. Ten o'clock comes with reversal time or burst time. Let's see how uh, how it plays out. Okay. By the way, natural gas is into really heavy duty resistance, and we have uh, numbers coming out in about 30 minutes. In case you do not wanna close the tray, you may consider putting a trail stop if in case you're still in um, at $8.34. If not, if you're not in, then congrats. Russell is catching up.
Russell looks like it wants to break above. 96 is a big area for it. In fact, it, yeah, it's 96, 96.5. So once it gets above 96.5, it may start running. We still have a high of uh, 523.75 in NASDAQ. We are two points away from target one. I already have an order to scale out half in NASDAQ at target one. If you're trading with one contract or if you have a very small account size, you can consider taking it. Or if not, worst case scenario, put your stop at break even and let it run. These are your options. I repeat. I have an order to take half my profit in that stack at target one at 530. It's already hard on the platform. And uh, if you are trading with only one contract, full size or micro means that you're trading with a small account, most likely not even position sizing. So take your profits and run at 30 because that is heavy duty resistance. See how it tapped into this dotted line right here? See where the dotted line is? That's exactly resistance. And there's a thick layer of resistance here because we have this one into 42 or 43, I believe it is. Yeah, 42, right? So you know that resistance is an area. It's not an exact number. So this whole entire area is yucky, right? So the price needs to trade well above into the 50 in order to start going. All right. So uh, trailed down half at 30. I My order was filled. And uh, I'm not raising the stops just yet. My Russell 97.8. Target one. And Russell is 2000. That is where I am going to apply the same tactic. Great job, Pamela. Awesome, 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 awesome execution. All right. If you guys are still trading, for example, one contract, like I said before, you could put your stop and break even and just let it go. If you have a risk free trade, so if you're going for example, for um, a continuation higher and want to take target two, for example, or around target two. All right, the next target that we're gonna look at in NASDAQ is 550. So at 550, I have another order right now to sell a quarter of my position. Yucky is a technical term, yes. <laughs> yucky is a real, yeah, it, it's a really yucky area. It is because it's such a big congestion. It's such a big resistance, it's yuck. <laughs> not fun okay rty stalling at 98.4 and the sound effect that goes with yuck oh <laughs> i don't know let me see Is my speaker on? Okay. Okay, see, we have this resistance into the 42 area and it tapped into the 45. Um, I don't know, let's see. What would yucky be? Sound effect for yucky. Um. That would be yeah, something like that, like a big boo. What would Kramer use exactly? <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, I have um I have his soundboard. <laughs> Yucky a lot of donkey. <laughs> okay. Come on, market. I'm not raising my stops just yet. And by the way, YM is still consolidating, still watching oil for another possibility because it tapped into the 20 SMA on the 15. Okay, let me just take this. No, I'm not going to take it out. Hold on, because that's for the swing side. Just want to see something here. Oh, the uh, oil is not going to be ready yet. It's probably going to pull back to 92.60 to 92.50, probably. All right. Come on, market. I don't know. I'm so tempted for this Dow here. So over 64, 65. 65, and we can use a tighter stop at 510. What do you guys think? Should we do it? Should we do like 65? Should we do 565 by this setup right here by 510? The heck with it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. I really am not a big fan of getting into a lot of trades because they're not so easy to manage. But yeah, what the heck? Let's do it. My order is in. And what's another R, right? It's just one R. And we have, we made so much profits this week. Yeah, so yeah, 510 is good. I was just reevaluating. <laughs> Uh, let's take it into 33,600. Yeah, let's do that. All righty. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> what's with Uncle Russell and us? <laughs> Uncle Russell is so addicting. This is the way. Diamond hands. H O D L. Totally. New high. New high in NASDAQ. New high in NASDAQ. Okay. NASDAQ target everybody. Yay. All right, and we're up and running, up and running in YM. Come on, come on. We're one point away from target one and RTY. We're at 80 in the Dow, grinding into 50 in NASDAQ, seven ticks away from target one in RTY. Okay. Less than 20 points from target in YM. Three ticks away. I already have my order in to sell half an RTY at 2000. No, I didn't, Richie. I didn't take any trades in ES. I was bummed about my oil trade, but now I made it all back. 
<laughs> I made it all back. NASDAQ, Russell, YM. That's why I took, I would have never taken YM. I don't like to take three trades at the same time. I don't. <laughs> Kachang, guys, 2000 and RTY. All right. I'm not trailing yet. Momentum is kind of slow. So it, it's giving us a really nice timing to trail. Yeah, oil is in garbage territory. It's in a pullback phase from the 1H chart. Thanks so much, Barry. Come on, market, just rip, just rip already. Just rip. See what it's doing? It's slowly grinding, slowly, slowly grinding. By the way, guys, remember the volume was a big issue this week. Again, low volume. Again, low volume. The next target is in NASDAQ is 65. Can it run above 65? Yes, it can. It can run to around 80, around 80. So now NASDAQ for me is a trail from this point on because even if it hits 65, I'm not gonna take profit at 65. If you like, if you like, you can take profits at 65 and be done. Or small accounts could actually lock in 50, for example, and you're done. And it here's the game plan for YM. So pay attention closely. If the price is going to snap right above 600, I don't have an order in at 600. Just letting you guys know the target is 600. But I don't have an order to sell at 600. Hear me out. If the price goes really fast above 600, let it go higher because it can still run to around 620 to 650. Okay. And then we could put a trail stop. We could raise our stops to 600 to lock in 600. And then we could see the price a little bit higher. Okay. So we are literally three uh, points away from our last target in NASDAQ. If you guys, you could take all the profits out. I am still in the trail mode because I see that there's, even though we have low volume, I still see a little bit of a momentum. Okay. So just letting you guys know what I'm doing. Awesome. 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 Pamela. Amazing. Robert. Right on, rocking and rolling. Yes, Joe. Puni, less confidence, low volume. Uh, no, it's just institutions not really participating today. All right, one more point to 65. One more point to 65. If you want, you guys are done. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the trading room. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let it run. Let it run. Let YM run. We're at 600, 600, 600. <laughs> All right. House of pleasure. <laughs> no, I am out of natural gas. I'm out of natural gas and I'm holding gold. Gold for me, it's a hold. It had only reached target one area, so I'm not doing anything with it. Okay, so let YM alone. Don't take profits just yet. I mean, that's your choice. If you want to take 600, that was the target, but I'm not. I'm still fully in, in YM. Have not sold anything in YM. Just letting you guys know. All right. Last target hit nicely in uh, NASDAQ. Let it rip, let it rip. Russell wants to go to 
2000 and uh, 2005, no trail yet. No trail. I'm more, more, I'm more concerned about chunking in profits than trailing at this point. I don't want anybody to see where my trail stops are. So I don't want them to see yours either because then they're seeing mine. <laughs> Steve, it's always great to have money. Green is green. It doesn't matter. You just rinse and repeat every day. We do the same thing in the trading room every single day. Some days are better, some days suck, but we're warriors. We keep on going. Okay, very soon, guys, we're going to be trailing YM at 600. So keep in mind, when I say trailing, you move the stop to 600. Do not exit. Just move the stop. Just move the stop to 600, but not now. Not now. Don't do it now. Okay, NASDAQ, further higher. NASDAQ is in trail mode right now. So NASDAQ, now that it broke above this massive resistance, can start having a little bit of juice in it. Okay, so let these babies run. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to move to the two minute here and the two minute here. Let's move on the two minute because we want to see the momentum. We want to count the candles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Do we, are we going to have eight candles? Are we really going to be that lucky? <laughs> All right, everybody, YM, YM trail 600. So see what the difference is. See what the difference is between trailing and taking profits at 600, just remember this. If there is one thing that you're going to remember from this open house is that don't kill a winning trade. So when you see a momentum that is punching through 600, right? Breathe in, breathe out, let it run. And when the price is a little bit extended from that 600, just put the stop at 600 where you wanted it to exit. Guess what? Because at this point, you locked in the initial profit that you wanted, and then you have a chance to make more money. What if it goes to 650? What if, right? Okay, good job, everybody. All right, we're going to start some trailing in NASDAQ as well. See, NASDAQ trail would be 50. I'm going to choose 55 trail, 55 in NASDAQ trail, 55 in NASDAQ trail. We're at 56.75, so not trailed yet. And let's trail, <clears throat> let's trail 201, two, uh, 2001 and RTY trail. Okay. So we have 55 trail, we're out of YM at 600, right? YM closed at 600. Perfect. And we're just about to trail right now in NASDAQ. NASDAQ, NASDAQ at 55, NASDAQ at 55, we're out, NASDAQ at 55. Okay, NASDAQ. Closed at 55. Oops, I, I was I was typing in 22. Closed at 55. And we have Russell. We still have three ticks, two ticks, one tick. We're going to close it at 2001. We're going to close it at 2001. We're still alive in Russell. Still alive in Russell. Still alive in Russell. Oh my gosh, awesome, Francis, rocking and rolling. Rock, rock, rock. Awesome. Great job. Amazing, amazing. Still alive. <laughs> All right. Still alive in RTY by one tick. So 
So at this point, okay, we're out, out, out RTY. Great job, everybody. That's pretty cool. We're done in less than an hour today. I'm not speaking, Gabriel. So NASDAQ right now is back into that resistance uh, area. So we're done. We're done, guys. We're done for the day. Okay. Uh, let's review and I'm going to answer some questions and this is it for today. So I hope you enjoyed those, these three days. Okay. All right. So let's review. I'm going to put these on the five minute charts and review what happened in the uh, pre-market game plan, uh, what we've have discussed in the pre-market game plan and what happened, right? Okay, let's put this in here. By the way, Russell, very strong. Very, very strong. Awesome, Jaco. Have a great day. Have a great, great day. Okay. All right. So uh, let me take you to the analysis window. Okay. So we're going to start with NASDAQ because we had a trade in NASDAQ and uh, in the pre-market game plan, I mentioned that we're going to be long shorting is not going to be an option pretty much in all the indices. So we had a little bit of a punch over this resistance high. Like I said, this is a big problem area. I'm referring to the one hour chart. You guys can see my cursor. It's green. I'm moving a cursor. So this was a big problem area. And now the price that because the price has pierced above this area, we may have continuation higher. Just remember going into tomorrow and going into next week. If the momentum continues, we have a chance of getting to 14,000. So that is the directional uh, bias. We're into a up into an uptrend uh, onto the daily chart. So this is the dominant trend that we're trading in right now. And the reason why we don't short is evident. Nobody except novice traders short in uptrends. You short an uptrend only when you're trading a fade, if you're having a climactic run, if you're having a, a really specific circumstance. But other than that, you don't short. All right, so uh, like I said, NASDAQ has the potential to run higher. S&P, we did not trade S&P today, but it had a really nice move to the upside. I was a little bit concerned about digesting this resistance uh, into the 42, um, uh, 42 uh, let's say 40 to 50 level. It punched a little bit higher, nice continuation pattern, extending one, two on the daily. And then um, for, from the one hour, it broke out above 50. It had a nice run into 60 for about 10 points. Does it have room to go higher? Yes, it does. But I think it takes a little bit of time to digest this resistance area that I'm holding out on the monthly because we're running right into the 20 SMA. If tomorrow we're going to be closing above this 20 SMA, we're going to have room for at least 4,500 going into the next month. 
uh, and that's going to be pretty cool, right? Uh, we really we had a momentum, but we really didn't have a strong momentum. And we're seeing a lot of hiccups still happening into the market. So it, the market is moving in impulses, like it breathes in, uh, it takes off a little bit, and then it pulls back, it breathes out, like it exhales, you know? So it, it's it's not really a strong momentum. And that's due to the fact that, take a look at the volume that we're having today. So the volume is really low today compared to yesterday. So very, very low volume right now. So pretty much, you know, at this time of the day, I usually like to look for setups, but I don't really know if we're going to get a setup right now because I love the 1030 time. 1030 is actually my favorite time and trends because that is the, my prime time trigger time that I'm looking for specific strategies to apply into the market, but I'm not seeing anything that I can apply today. Uh, let's take a look at the Dow um, um, and Dow actually had a really nice run. It started off and we started off with a really nice synchronicity throughout indices. They were all in sync. We have some structural strength into Russell. We also have some structural strength into NASDAQ, but we had uh, we had a little bit of divergency because the money shifted into the Dow and into the mini S&P. So very nice uh, move to the uh, to the upside. Uh, also, uh, we have RTY and we had RTY as well. And we, obviously, we played uh, YMS a little breakout to uh, 600. Actually, went to 620, and then we locked in 600 uh, for the possibility to run into the 650. Uh, but we got trailed out at 600, as you guys saw. And then we have Russell back into the 2000. Now, this is the frothy part of Russell's level. So we're trading right now, as you guys can see from the daily chart, we're running into the 200 SMA. So things are going to slow down a little bit right now. So it's enough. It's literally suffice for one index to hit one resistance area to create a little bit of divergency into the rest of the indices, because that creates that um, um, that takes them out of sync. Okay. And then we have, uh, then we have oil. We had a trade in oil in which we stopped out. We had a really nice base breakout with a sandwich breakout over resistance. We actually punched into 93.90 and then it fizzled out. We stopped out at 93. Uh, gold, like I said, this is a trade that I called on Monday, and uh, it is uh, a swing trade for us. Our entry, as you could see here, it's uh, bullish above over 1812. We had our first target uh, into the, uh, uh, you can see it right here, into the 1820 to 25. It had a high 24.6, so we achieved target one. I'm half out into that target, and uh, that's... Um, uh, we're, the, the trade is still on, still very nice and still ranging, coiling around that bullish above. Uh, the bigger trade of the week was uh, natural gas. Natural gas numbers just came out a minute ago. And uh, we had one of the last targets into the 40s, 50s, around that area. Uh, 30, 40, 50s were the last target. It had a run up into 55. The reason for that is that uh, right here into 50, you guys can see that I'm holding my cursor right into the 50 area. We have this peak resistance, right? So it's only normal that the price action reacts and punches through that resistance. And right now, if it doesn't have a strong momentum, of course, it had numbers uh, coming out. Of course, it's going to create that divergency. Is it the price going to pull back? Well, we have to wait for the price action to subside a little bit here and to digest the numbers, the the um, 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 the commodity needs to digest those numbers. And uh, if it should trade again over 50 to 55, it could start snapping back higher. Uh, but I would really love to see like a snap higher and then a pullback to reset so we can trade it again next week. So I'm not going to be trading it today or tomorrow or anything like that. Okay. All right. So open house on Friday. No, nope, that's it. This is all guys. <laughs> this is all we had our three days. Uh, if you want to sign up, Jessica, go right ahead. The prices are not going to stay like this forever. The prices are going to get up. You guys can see the caliber of trades that we're making right here. It is the only room that I know that is a hand holding room. Literally, it's a hand holding room. You get all your questions answered. You get trades that are served on a silver platter. 
it has an educational component as well. So it has a lot of bells and whistles. All right, so um, at this point, I'm gonna uh, give you guys a little bit of uh, insight into what we do here at Trade Out Loud. You probably, you know, heard me and saw me trade with confidence and, you know, take some setups that are literally stress-free. So, and it makes trading effortless. Yesterday, I got an email and say, wow, you make trading seem so easy. And yes, because trading is easy if you have the right tools and if you know what you are doing. But trading can be problematic if you don't know what you're doing. So it's a, it, you know, it, it's a very strong point. You have to know what you're doing in the market. Okay, so um, I would like to share with you guys uh, some of the things that we have going on here with uh, Trade Out Loud. So first of all, uh, we do provide uh, we do provide uh, a trading room just like this one. So if you liked and if you make money, I see everybody in here are like literally super uber happy and all the comments in here in the rating, trading room is they're just phenomenal. So if you like to trade with me, this is the Futures Live trading room page. You uh, get to it from the service tab on our website. And this is pretty much what we uh, cover every single day. I do the pre-market game plan. I usually come on the mic. I don't come on the mic at nine o'clock because you guys saw from nine o'clock to about 9.15, I had to explain, you know, to get you guys up to speed of what we're doing here and how we're doing it and how we're calling trades. So when you join the, um, um, the Trade Out Loud Futures Trading Room, you can expect the pre-market game plan to be done explicit every single day. You're going to have... Uh, the institutional levels that are going to be pre-mapped on through the charts for you. We're going to tell you exactly, I'm going to tell you exactly whether it's going to be a, a neutral day and our neutral days, we kind of like sit on our hands a little bit until we have some price evidence. And then if it is a bullish day, we look for pullback buys. If it's a bearish day, we'll look for shorts. Uh, if it's a sideways day, then we assess it. We can either play long or short. So you have and you receive the pre-market game plan. So when I call the trade, you don't have any questions and say, oh, wow, I wonder why she's taking, you know, why I'm long or S&P short. There are no, uh, uh, you know, no hidden motives. I tell you as it is. You have, you're going to have institutional, tra uh, institutional trading levels on your charts. You're going to have that bullish above, bearish below. You're going to have confluence area. So you trade with confidence and you see exactly where the, tr uh, where the targets are and when the, where the price is likely to get pulled into or pulled back into. You're going to get real time precise trading, just like you do here into the trading room. You're going to get, uh, um, the call price, the entry price, you're going to get the stop price, you're going to get the targets. And if you follow me along, literally, you can be brain dead. And if you know how to, if you still have the capacity to like push the buttons, you're going to make money. Uh, also, you have 100% guided trading, uh, whether I'm trading for myself, or uh, I care about the traders that are, uh, you know, trading with smaller account sizes that are trading with, uh, um, uh, you know, with one contract, I give you guidance for that, but I also give guidance for our traders that are trading really large account sizes. Uh, also, uh, we usually call one to three trades a day. Today was a little bit of an exception and yesterday because the market was uh, literally providing with a lot with a lot more opportunities. So uh, today we took four trades. Yesterday, I think we took like five trades. Uh, the day before we took three trades. So this open house was very, very active, even though the environment was not very favorable for the New York trading session because some of the major moves happened already in the overnight price action. So you're always going to receive exact parameters, the entries, the stops, the targets. We never wing it. We never tell you, oh, that's the area or we're going to wing it. No, precise right to the penny. Uh, you're going to receive live trailing for the life of the trade. So, for example, if we're still going to be in the trade, uh, you're also going to receive information as to uh, how we are going to manage it, let's say, beyond 12 o'clock. Because sometimes it happens that the market is uh, really slow and we're still in a trade and it'll provide guidance. The trading room is going to stay open until we are out of the trade. Okay. Live trading for the life of the trade, that's what it means. Real-time response to your questions. So if you have a question, uh, we're going to address it, obviously, after we're done with trading. Uh, you're always going to see a live screen share and everything that I'm uh, watching. So you guys 
can have an idea what you need to watch in your charting and how the setups are developing. You can learn a lot. You can learn a lot by the trades that I'm calling. Go back, analyze them, and you're going to see the patterns. You're going to see the uh, technicalities and how I also trailed. Uh, also, lectures and mentoring. For example, last week we did. Well, I did share uh, one strategy that literally is used almost ninety percent of the time, or even more than ninety percent of the time. It is a strategy that we use today as well in the trading room. So it doesn't happen every day that I share strategies because this trading room is to make money. So I come in the morning. Uh, every day to make money, first of all, for myself. And then I love to share the trades with you guys, right? So the purpose of this room is to generate income, power income. And this is what it's all about. If you want to learn how it's done, we have a course for that. So again, um, if you're interested, you know, you can see, by the way, we uh, won the FinTech, uh, the Global FinTech Award last year for the best financial literacy tool out of 400 companies. That means best performance, best education, uh, uh, best services. And uh, of course, here you have an explanation of the training room in case you want more information on that. You could see exactly, you know, how we uh, how we go about uh, all the trades in here. Uh, more information, like I said. And of course, um, if you want to go with the pricing plans, our most popular is the yearly where you literally pay only for 10 months and you get 12 months. The monthly membership is $2.99. You also get a one-day pass or a five-day pass. Uh, for example, people that are really busy and have a very busy lifestyle but still want to come into the room, basically, these are not on renewal, the one-day pass and the five-day pass. So for example, you have a full-time job and then you have about five weeks in where you're you know, working the second shift. And then the, the, these are the kinds of individuals that are coming in uh, to our um uh, to our membership. Okay. So not only that, but when you access, and by the way, here at the very bottom, you can view the uh, futures performance. Uh, and I haven't even mentioned, so with this uh, trading room, you also have access to the live performance portfolio where you're going to see all the trades. But more so, it's not only about that. It's about risk management because you're going to receive a lot of information here. Um, do you guys see this? Do you guys see this? Just type a one if you uh, if you see the uh, spreadsheet. Perfect. Thanks so much. It's about risk management because a lot of uh, traders that tap into the futures market, and I mean 99.9% .9 of the traders that are trading the futures market have no idea how to position size and don't even know that that is an option or that is a thing, right? So my duty is to draw attention into that. So you're going to get access to this. You also have access to a calculator here that is really awesome. And you guys can see it uh, right here. So for example, it shows you exactly the position size that you should have if you're risking 1%, 2% or so on. Everybody's different. Uh, and of course, we have the guidelines. We have the access to tra uh, trade out loud funding right here. We have different funding from our partner in case you want to trade just futures, you're not interested in stocks. We have information about the rule uh, about the roll dates. You have information of the rules and regulations of the trading room. Obviously, uh, can you get kicked out? Yes, so we have some. We had some instances where we had to kick uh, kick out people out of the room because they were here uh, just to promote something else. Uh, layouts. It's not a surprise. It takes years for a trader to develop a winning layout where you could actually see the setup develop. So if you want to have access to a uh, to the uh, professional layout and institutional layout, here's your opportunity. If you're trading with Think or Swim, or we provide you snapshots if you're trading on a different platform. And this is Ninja right here. If you want it, we have the holidays, we have disclaimers, the indicators that we use, and the performance here today from 2021 and 2022. From 2017 to 2020, you can find it on our website. Of course, you find this on our web, on, on, on the public website as well. All right, so this is with the live futures trading room. If you want to dive and say, hey, because look, I don't want to sell you anything, but uh, some people say, oh my gosh, it's so expensive, it's $299. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Sh just send me your performance right now within the last month and I will show you that you lost more than that 
in a trade. This is literally peanuts for the information and for the caliber that you're receiving. And of course, you need trading education. You need high caliber trading education. When I started trading, did you do you think that I dived into trading just like that? No, I quit my job. And because I quit my job, I needed to have an income. So what do you think I did? Before I even opened a day trading account, it took me about six to seven months before I opened a day trading account because since then, I got all the trading education that I needed. I took a plethora of courses and courses were not ex were very expensive when uh, when I started trading. The first course was about $20,000. The other courses that I got were literally $10,000 to $15,000 each. So I took a plethora of those courses because I knew that I needed the information. I knew that if I started trading, I would blow up the account and I would not give a, uh, have a second chance and I would have to get back to work. And that wasn't an option for me because I don't like working for someone else and I don't want I, I don't literally don't like getting anybody else rich and I saw the possibility in the market and I was already making really good money in swing trading and investing for myself so I wanted an income producing style for myself so if you think that you want to switch gears you want to have that hedge against inflation you want to have that uh, skill that is literally going to last you a lifetime because Look, if you learn how to trade, there's nobody on the planet that is going to take that away from you. Uh, 2020 was a really good example. A lot of people were laid off. A lot of people were on lockdown. And guess what? The markets were open. The markets were open and were 100% on autopilot. There was nobody on the floor. There was nobody at the CME. There was nobody at the New York Stock Exchange. There was nobody on the floor. Everything was ran electronically. So guess what? In case something, God forbid, happens, the market is always going to be there. The market is going to work. So that's the only way you can pull money out of the market. Okay. So we have the Power Income Futures Day Trading course. This course is scheduled for the 22nd uh, till the 26th. And it's a five-day live course. You're going to have access to me and like i said the course is live uh for five days it's from two o'clock to about 4 4 30 uh it is uh it, with this course not only that you're getting the 30 day access to the trading room but if you sign up by i think it's by fr not by friday but by monday no it's by monday on the 15th if you sign up by the 15th you have access to the trading room into the end of the year this is phenomenal. Not only that, you're going to learn how to trade, you're going to see how it's being implemented, and you're going to earn at the same time. You guys see what kind of trades I call, right? Uh, because the trades that I call, I don't call them so you guys can take them. I'm, this is not a regular chat room where you know people share some ideas. No, these are the trades that I take to make money. So these are the take, these are the trades that I want that I want to take because I want to produce my income. That's where I'm getting my living. You also have free unlimited retakes. This is something that you're never going ever going to see anywhere else. Everybody everybody lets you with probably one page retake of about a thousand dollars and all the other retakes you're going to have to buy the course all over again because they cut you off. They cut you off from the manuals. They cut you off from the recordings. You won't have access to them ever again. Not only that, but you have lifetime access to the courses because you need to have constant contact with what's happening in the market. And not only that, but you need to come over and over and over again because even though trading is simple, it's not easy. Because you need and repetition is key. There are strategies that you use more often, strategies that you are not using that often. So free retakes every single month. I highly recommend each trader to come in at least a year. Guys, at least a year. The best traders that I know that are rocking and rolling right now and they're taking their own trades took the course at least two years in a row, right? This is a no homework course. So all I'm asking you guys, if you decide to join this course, is to show up and not have any browsers. Do not have your phone with you. Just, just have the monitor in front of you where you're watching and you're going to receive all the information. If you do that for a year, you're going to get it. Plus in the trading room, that's continuing education. So you're going to access our live courses from anywhere on any device. You can be in Tahiti. 
or you can be in Australia, or you can be in London, or you can be in Ibiza, or you can be in Brazil, you can have access to this course anywhere. That's why it's so easy about it. You're also going to get a risk chart. You get on-demand recordings for all the courses. So that's the beauty about it. Every single time we do a course, you get, you even if you're not able to come in to join the live course, you have access to these recordings. They're yours forever. You're always going to have access to, we never cut access to them. You also have access to student-only specialty courses. We do provide specialty courses and mentorships that uh, come every once in a while within a year. So you're going to have access to those as well. You have professional platform layout again. You guys want to enroll. You have more information right here about the course. Here's what we're going to teach you in the course. We teach you everything from A to Z. <laughs> yes, exactly. Where I could be in the Maldives and I can teach the course. Okay. So here's what you're going to be learning. First of all, you're going to do an immersion into the futurist market. And this emergence immersion is mandatory because how many of you guys know the real story about futures? You need to know where you're uh, coming from, right? And where futures is coming from. You need to know who are the market participants, who trades futures. I know it's just me and you, right? So retail traders, but who else trades futures and how do they use futures to make money? Uh, also, we're going to talk about contracts. Contract sizes are very important. What a contract is, what is a rollover? right? What is a rollover? So if I, you know, if I get to ask you guys right now, what is a rollover and what is the strategy that you use in a rollover? Okay. It's like not a lot of people will know uh, how to trade the rollover, right? And what the rollover is and when that is popping up and how that influences the, uh, and impacts the price action. So we teach you all that. What is the expiration? What you can expect into the expiration, what kind of trading activity you can expect an expiration? Is it tradable or not? I don't know, right? So this is what we are going to explain right here, how you trade that. Because, you know, I, I'm just want, just a quick warning, guys. September is going to be rough. September is going to be one of those months where you see this price of the course, you can lose much more than this, Okay. Uh, we're also going to talk about trading hours for specific indices. We're also going to be talking about algo trading. And I'm going to tell you right now that we are very, 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 very the closest you could get to algo trading when we're day trading. Then we talk about charting. We talk about candlestick language, specific shapes, colors of candles that are telling us whether we're going to get in or out and whether we're going to get a momentum. And I'm talking about 90% success rate into the rate of the pattern. You guys see, I have like today out of uh, uh, out of all the trades that we uh, we took, I think it was like four trades. One was a stop, right? Out of four trades. Yesterday, out of, out of six trades, one was a stop. So we have patterns and pivots because here's the deal. We teach you not only patterns, but uh, patterns and pivots. These are very important because a lot of traders have no idea how to read what? a change in the trend. Everybody, everything is well, nice and, you know, well planned if the trend is going your way, right? So 2000, uh, 2016, at the end of 2016, 17, 18, even 19, right? And even a little bit into the first month of 2020, everything was roses, right? Everything was going HODL, right? Everything was going higher. Everything was smooth, right? Everybody was buying, buying, buying. Well, when divergence hits, oh my gosh, you have no idea how to trade it. Do I trade short? Do I trade long? I mean, what do you need to do? So you need to know how to read a change in the trend. We're also going to provide candlestick formations and also charting tools and indicators. These are the must have six indicators. Don't, don't fear, they're free with every platform. We don't have proprietary indicators. There's no such thing as a freaking proprietary indicator. I could tell you this right now. It's just inventions here and there of, of, you know, a guy or gal in the basement that is coming up with some crap to make some money. I and mean, that's all it's all about. Uh, but these are professional, institutional, like little elementary elementary uh, indicators that any hedge fund or any institutional traders is going to have on their platforms. We're also going to talk about market cycles. When is the optimum time to buy? Shorting opportunities. Remember today when we started the 
uh, session in the pre-market game plan, I said shorting is not an option. Remember what I said? Shorting is not an option. Well, because I knew what cycle we're in. Uh, optimum timing for exiting long and short positions would be awesome to know how to trail and how to know, you know, when to exit. Optimum timing for holding positions. I mean, what if the market is really going to snap higher? How do we do it? How do we go about it? Then we talk about trends, right? There are only three ways in which the market moves. The market moves uh, higher, lower, or it's sideways. So we're going to teach you how to trade these specific um, market trends and when and how to trend each one, whether up, down, or sideways. We're going to talk about time frames. Oh, this is a good one right here. We're going to talk there are three times, three categories. We have executional time frames, we have analytical time frames, and if you have, we have multiple time frame fusion. These are so important, guys. This is what you have to watch every single day. So there, so you can see that trading is not about using a strategy. It's not about using just timing. It's not about using, you know, technical analysis. It is how quick of a reaction you have in the market to blend all. That's all it's all about. It's how fast you are. If you're not fast, it's not going to work for you. But we have a strategy that we teach you. And you can see that we know ahead of time where our inflection point where we want to get into a trade is. So you can see that you have that reaction time. So it gives, gives you that stress-free environment without having like, oh my God, it already ran up. I have to jump in, right? So this is what it's doing for you, okay? Then we go into technical analysis. This is like amazing. It's everything that you need to know about technical analysis. We have all the bells and whistles in here. So you won't need another technical analysis book. You won't need anything else, guys. This is exactly all you need to do. These are A plus layers of price port resistance. Plus it teaches you those inflection points. We're also going to teach you market tempo. These are proprietary day trading reactionary times. You hear me, uh, you heard me within these past three days uh, mentioning the 932, 935, 945, 10 o'clock, blah, blah, Okay, these are the proprietary day trading uh, reactionary times. Guess what? We also have trigger times. These are proprietary for trade out loud. I have developed them many, many years ago. And these are specific for the New York trading session. We also have reactionary market phases because you need to know in which phase of the market you're trading. So you can see that trading is very complex, but once you learn it all, then you navigate the market with confidence, right? And you make, and uh, I know I make trading sound easy and I say, okay, there's the answer, this is the stop, this is the target, this is where I trail, blah, 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 right? Because to me, it is easy. It could be easy to you as well. So we have the anatomy of the trade. This is where we uh, calculate the entries with laser sharp precision. Literally, you guys saw it on the technical chart, right? Um, also, we are calculating the stop areas, calculating targets, calculating risk. So everything, we don't leave anything to chance. Everything is well planned. And guess what? You don't have to be a math wizard because everybody thinks like, oh my God, in order to be an investor or a swing trader, or if you want to be a day trader more so, oh my gosh, you have to be a wizard, right? You have to be a math wizard. Wrong. We give everything for you and it's easy to see. If you have photographic memory, you're going to be rocking and rolling. Then we teach strategies. We have 10 proprietary strategies that we teach. Everything that we teach in the course, we apply in the trading room. There's not one strategy that we don't apply. So we trade by the book. Also, we teach you trading patterns. We have trailing methods that we teach. So for example, um, based on the environment, the momentum, based on uh, what kind of market and what kind of cycle the, uh, we're in. Uh, we teach you uh, trail. We have three trailing methods that we teach. We also teach you money management. Money management is so important because you need to know how much to risk, how much to allocate, uh, how to position size and all that stuff. We teach you journaling as well. We also provide you with access to um, um, if you want to do it on your own or we have suggestions if you want to have a, a software do it for you that can be connected to your broker. Um, and that is trade journaling right there. Journaling is part of your trading success. If you don't trail your trade, if you don't journal your trades, you're not going to be successful because journaling is your self-analytical tool. 
you're going to put in all your trades, the good, the bad, the ugly, the timing where you got into the trades. And then at the end of the day, there's a little bit of work. Yes, there's a little bit of work in trading, but guess what? You want to get there. You want to make this your income method. You have to put in the work. And then all you have to do is literally trade an hour a day. You're going to get to that performance, but there's a little bit of effort before you get there. And it's not great because with us, everything is like a couple hours a day for a week, a month, and to learn the system and then two hours a day to apply. So it's no extra work. But if you want to do it on your own, if you want to, or if even if you don't want to do it on your own, uh, you know, but if you want to do it on your own, my God, you need to have a trading journal because if you don't, you don't know where what you're doing wrong. Trading psychology is a really big component. You're also going to get access to a course uh, to um, this is uh, actually on demand that we're providing the trading psychology because it's pretty wide. Uh, otherwise, uh, so the trade journaling psychology uh, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, and, and, and the journaling and training psychology are the chapters that you're going to receive recording. Other than that, we will go for another week. Um, so training psychology is very important. We talk about different phases. Uh, I am trained uh, and I have received coaching into trading psychology and I receive training into trading psychology. I go to courses all the time. And even uh, last week, I had a course month. Uh, I had a course Tuesday, Tuesday to Saturday. So I do take a lot of courses because I want to be in my tip top shape, and I want to produce more and more money, and I want to, you know, I, I want to make sure that I better myself. Okay. So if you have a coach that is not receiving coaching, then that's really sad, right? Because there's not one person that knows it all. So you have to expand your horizon. Also, um, we, we have uh, an action plan, and this is actually what we do in the last day and how to apply this action plan. And this action plan, oh my gosh, if you guys see it, I can't show it to you. Uh, but if you guys see it, you're going to like, oh my God, this blows my mind. It takes you minute by minute from when the market opens till the market closes to what you need to do. Oh my God, it is so powerful. And then on the last day, we put everything together. This is where uh, we literally um, um, teach you how to trace these institutional levels that take you probably five minutes in all the indices. They're that simple. All right. And of course, you receive the platform layout. So the course uh, is $5,999. And uh, it, like I said, the course starts on the 22nd to the 26th. And also what I wanted to, sh uh, to share with you is that uh, we have an additional five days. A lot of members are going into these additional five days. Um, if you want to have that extra help, this is for you. If you want to have that extra help, this is for you. So this is going to fast track your trading literally uh, with a hands-on experience. And uh, this is going to be a trading incubator. So it's a trading lab. It is, uh, it is uh, a five day and it continues after the course. So it's from the 29th, it's August 29th through September 2nd. And it teaches you computer requirements, how to set up your platform. Maybe you need that special you know, attention that, you know, here's how if you're using a thinkorswim platform, uh, just like me, I will show you all the bells and whistles and how to install it, how to set it up and all that stuff. So we take the time to do so. It's a relaxed environment. Order types and when to use them, limit orders, market orders, et cetera. Um, also, what I wanted to tell you that with this course, with the $5,999, it's not even mentioned here, but you do have access to, uh, to a shortcut of the lab, right? Uh, which is about, I think it's like an hour and it is on an on-demand video. And again, we go over orders, uh, limit orders, we go market orders, trail stops, how to use it. And I show you how to use all that stuff. Uh, then we are going to place order live. Uh, we're going, and this we're, we're doing it in the afternoon. So we're doing this from two o'clock to four o'clock. So we're placing orders. We're teaching you how to set alerts. Uh, we're teaching you the terminology. And in day two, we're teaching you how to gather the intel before to establish that routine so you get into the habit, a healthy habit of how to start your day. Whether you're starting it in the morning, whether you're starting it 
at 2 p.m. or whether you're trading the Asian session or the London session. We're going to teach you how to select an, uh, the, the, the trade, the trade of the day. Uh, we're going to teach you how to pre-plan your trade and, of course, how to apply the executional level with the live orders, with, um, uh, with everything that is uh, going on. Also, um, day three is very similar to day two with gathering intel, but here we're going to introduce again analyzing the market because analyzing the market is the biggest component of the success of your trade. Because if you know the market context, then you know in which direction you need to take, take the trade. Uh, then, of course, we're going to do live trading again, day four scanning for setups, developing patience, position sizing. This is why we're going to do practicing position sizing. And again, live trading and developing your trading plan, developing your own trading journal. And of course, if you want, we could dive into creating your own trading plan, even though I'm providing you in the course with the trading plan. So it's not even mentioned here, but when, uh, when we have this chapter, putting everything together, and of course, uh, trading action plan, it, that is literally your trading plan. So uh, like I said, this uh, uh, immersion into uh, execution is the trading incubator. That is um, uh, that is another five days that we have added to, uh, to the course. All right. So this is the service. This And again, if you sign up by Monday, you will have access into the end of the year and you're going to get to trade with me. Uh, and of course, if you decide that, you know what, um, I am just going to trade on my own, but I wish I can trade on my own, but I don't have access to funding. If you go to our, um, if you go to tradeoutloud.com, uh, you have access to trade out loud funding. Like I said, we are over, uh, we have exceeded $2 million in funding for our traders already, the um, old traders that have already signed up. Uh, we have trade out loud funding. We have four tiers. We have the silver account. We have the gold account. We have the platinum account, and we have the diamond account. And if you want a lot of, inf we have, if you want more information on how to become a funded trader, uh, you could just click on those tabs. With more information that's going to take you to this page. It's tradeout.com um, services funded accounts. And here, basically, you're going to receive an explanation of how you can become a funded trader. Uh, first of all, you're going to apply for audition. You have to prove that you can trade. You have to uh, you you have to make a uh, ten percent uh, of uh, the uh, from the amount that you have been funded with. And once you make that uh, money, you're automatically when their target is hit. Uh, then you are going to move into a funded account. You're going to be claiming your funded account and then you receive funding for that account. So like I said, if you want more information on this, uh, we did have a launch. Uh, uh, I think it was a couple of weeks ago or something like that. And by the way, you have the trading rules over here. You have uh, um, more information, Q&A, so there is no possible question that is not going to be answered in here. So make sure you read them. Um, and also you have access to this uh, launch that we've had where we explain everything, like literally everything. Uh, and then if you decide to uh, go through uh, the broker that we're using uh, provides the MT5 platform. And here you have the MT5 platform orientation and shows you uh, how to quick start your way and how to find your way around the MT5 platform. It's really some simple steps of how to use the platform. It's fairly easy. Uh, it's, it's a very robust platform and uh, highly encourage everybody that does not want to risk their own money uh, to, uh, and by the way, the funded accounts and the prop accounts are fantastic because they are going to teach you to be disciplined. And that's number one. Okay. So I am open for questions, everybody. We are done. Thank you so much for participating in this open house. It was my pleasure to share with you the strategies that I use uh, to share with you how I trail, how I trade, a little bit about Trade Out Loud and what we teach and what we do. We will have an event uh, next week. I plan on having the three-day event, but we're going to have to postpone that. But we're going to have another free event next week in case you're interested to find out more about futures and how you can get started into the futures market. And more so, you're going to learn. I'm going to 
introduce something new that I have not done. So I'm going to show you my routine. You pretty much had a glimpse into my routine, but I'm going to get uh, a little bit more into my routine. And I'm going to be sharing some websites that are very helpful. Don't worry, they're free. Uh, no additional memberships required for those websites, but they're going to help you a whole lot in your trading process and your decision uh, making. So thank you so much, everybody. I will scroll a little bit to see if there are any questions and I will definitely, I'm definitely looking uh, forward to seeing you guys uh, in the course on the 22nd when we start. And of course, back into the trading room tomorrow where we can have a lot of fun. <laughs> and trust me, we have even more fun than we had here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Robert, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Barry, I did not watch it. I recorded it and I'm going to watch it today. I'm so excited to uh, to watch it. Resident Alien is my favorite so far. Uh, what is the initial account balance on the performance you're showing? You, in order for you to take uh, all the trades that I have shared, you need to have at least $50,000 or more. Uh, for the performance to uh, for you to be able to trade that. And that is because at times we trade, for example, natural gas or bonds or oil where you're required to have a little bit of water stop. But you can also trade with micros. So you can have a small account. You can have a five to seven thousand dollar account size and you just reduce that uh, size and position size. You have to know how to position size, please. If there is one thing that, you know, the takeaway from this is that you need to know how to position size. Position size is literally uh, can potentially kill you as a trader if you don't know how to position size. And especially if you have a big account, don't worry about it. But if you have a small account, oh my gosh, that's the number one reason. Uh, most of the traders, I do have a lot of friends that are brokers and they tell me horror stories about individuals, traders that open accounts with thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, uh, and they keep on going back and back and back and back. And ultimately they, you know, obviously they keep a record of that and they literally twenty five thousand dollars down the drain, you know, because they're dabbing into small account, small account. Of course, you cannot make money with a small account. Seriously. You cannot. So if you think that you can open up a $500 account or a $1,000 account using, I don't know what broker that allows you that, you know, and if you think that you can make money without you're fooling yourself, instead of doing that, practice in a simulated account until you get the money to trade a real account. That's my advice to you. Um, Mike, what are the thoughts, recommendations concerning about after hours trading? Mike, after hours trading is pretty cool. So for example, even today, we have some pretty good uh, trading opportunities. If you should be trading, um, um, for example, around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., we do have strategies designed to trade for those specific times and for the overnight uh, that we teach in our course. And yes, they're, um, they're uh, mini swings. They're called mini swings and they're very, very good. They have not happened uh, lately that much because the market was not into a, a real, was not really trending. And even now, because now it's trending, but uh, it's kind of like a snap up and then stall. And uh, it, it has not had that really nice continuation. Uh, Doji man, thank you so much for the comments. Okay. Um, Robert, did you say you will have another open house next week? The, the open house? No, it's not open house is only once a year. And, uh, just to give, uh, an insight of what we're doing and how we're trading. Uh, we do have passes. However, uh, we have a one day pass that is not renewable and we have a five day pass. Again, it's not renewable. Um, if you want to, you know, dive in and say, okay, I want to, you know, um, I, I, I just have some time, five days. I'm going to be in the room. This is specific for individuals that have full-time jobs, cannot, uh, enter the room on a monthly basis, but, uh, yes, no open houses until next year, 2023 in August. Okay. All right, so this is it, everybody. Let me know if you, uh, have any other questions. Uh, possible to have an auto trade copy service? No. Um, 
Oh, you are, Michael? I have to check that out now. Uh, Sal, why is that sometimes the trigger pulls back? Is that bulls take profit, target, as well as trigger for bulls, or do the uh, boys know and use the trigger to sell? No, you're getting you're getting the price oscillation. Sometimes you have stronger triggers, and sometimes you have weaker triggers. Uh, when you have a bigger uh, push. And for example, when we typically take the trade, and it depends on the market environment, but typically when we take the trade, all the trades are based on velocity. And that is because we have, uh, we have the multi-trigger system and uh, they do run into targets. Very self, in very seldom cases do we have that. And it depends on the market environment. Don't overread that. Uh, how do we sign up for the webinar? So next week, you're going to receive an uh, email. I think it's going to go out uh, this weekend, Eileen, uh, with uh, the webinar that is going to be next week. It's going to be uh, um, how to start your uh, futures trading business, basically. And uh, we're going to teach you more about the futures market, You know the potential about the futures market, the differences between the futures market and the stock market. Uh, Richard, when you say not renewable, do you mean uh, the one time only? Uh, when I say not renewable, the one day pass and the five day pass. Uh, the one day pass is $25, not renewable. And the five day pass is five days, not renewable. <clears throat> Lorena, can you mention one of the trader psychology courses uh, you mentioned? Actually, you know, there uh, we will bring on board uh, and we will uh, host actually, <clears throat> we will have an event for our traders. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and uh, we will, uh, um, I will probably allocate. So I have been in discussion uh, to bring someone on board. I did receive a lot of, and trust me, uh, I have been asked. And so I'm going to an answer that question uh, with this. I have been asked many times, and I actually had an interview this uh, past Saturday, and I was asked, what is my favorite trading book? And what is my favorite, let's say, because we talked about trading psychology, <clears throat> what is my favorite um, um, part of trading psychology? What's my favorite trading psychology book? And I'm going to answer with this. Not one book that is out there is going to teach you how to trade and going to teach you trading psychology not one book it's all about learning the system and learning uh, uh reading more about it and just learning from your own personal experience and the emotions that you're going through and of course blending that mindset with the actual uh with the actual trading so it's a little bit more complex uh the the chapter that i have designed uh for trading psychology i i designed it for example it was 80 percent from my personal experience and it was 20 percent. i was helped by a trading psychologist okay uh, to develop that uh, Frank, it is the five trading trade trading days. Yes, five trading days. So, for example, if you sign up on Monday, it's going to run Monday through Friday. If you sign up, for example, on Wednesday, it's going to run from Wednesday to Wednesday. Uh, Richard, so I can use a one day pass once. Yes, the one day pass is only one day. One day pass is only one day. Yes, people. So five days means you only have five days access and then you're cut off. Okay, so five days. You will have five trading days, five trading days. It doesn't count. So Saturday, Sunday, obviously doesn't count. So if you sign up Monday, you have Monday through Friday. On Friday, you're out at the end of the session. So you are not going to have access another five days. Okay, it's not renewable. You buy the five-day pass 
and then you have access exactly five trading sessions and then you're cut off. Yes, the trade record is on our website. I mentioned it earlier. It's at the bottom of the page always. Um, if you go under our services tab, if you scroll right at the very bottom since 2017. Uh, Mike, you don't have to buy passes multiple times if five days is all you can do. Like I highly encourage it's better to have a monthly membership because you don't have to worry about it as much. The five day pass is just going to buy five days, five days, five days, five days. But for example, if you only can trade five days a month, then that would work for you. Okay, that would work for you. All right, any other questions? No copy service. All right, any other questions, everybody? Thank you so much for being here with us today. I really appreciate it. And uh, I really am looking forward to see you guys in the course. I'm looking forward to working with you too, so you too can reach your maximum potential when trading. I think trading is the best, best job on the planet. You guys can see we were done in one hour today. Yesterday, we were done also in about an hour and the prior day uh, in um less than two hours. So this is what your life would be if you learn how to trade, right? This is this could be you. What I'm doing right now, this could be you in uh, in just a, a few short months. Okay, Brian, you signed up for the course. Welcome aboard. You're gonna love it. Welcome to the club, Brian. <laughs> Welcome to the club. You're gonna love it. I promise you that. <laughs> Laura, <laughs> Brian, welcome to the family. You're going to have so much fun. And we're going to, not only that, but we're going to make money. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Denise. I so appreciate it. The courses that are priceless. Hey, Anna. Do you think it's okay to be in the room uh, without taking the course? Yes, you can do that. We have uh, we have some members that are in the room that did not take the course. But if you follow my cue and follow my instruction, you're gonna you're going to do well. But you have to follow me by, to the T. Usually, the people that are in the room have some trading education. But if you do have some trading education, then I think you're gonna do good. You really, thank you so much. You're considering over the weekend, Charles, you like the trading room. Everybody loves the trading room. When I designed the trading room, I wanted, uh, I wanted, and I came up with this concept of the trading room. I wanted a room that I never had when I first started trading. So that's the way I designed it. I wanted a room that could hold my hand through the trades because I was once where you guys are right now. I was not born with all this information in my head. No, nobody is. So when I first started day trading, I wanted to have the guidance. I never got it. I got some guidance, but I always, when I was in trading rooms as well, I was in chat rooms. Back then, they were called chat rooms because they were chat rooms. Everybody was chatty, right? So when they would call a trade, they would call, yeah, I'm going to get it like here or I'm going to get it at this price. And these are the targets. They would never trail live. Not one trader would ever trail live. You guys have been in other services. And I know from you guys, that there is nobody that trails live. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You know the difference between a trader that is trading 
and a trader that is not trading and just hosts hosts a room by the trailing trailing is the most difficult thing to do yeah that's right angeli it's just a skill it's like sport and music you need to follow a good system and a coach to practice discipline yeah it's true it's true it's just like playing a piano i don't play a piano <laughs> so i'm pretty sure that if i'm gonna have my first lesson or if I go in front of the piano, that's a really great example, Angeli. So if I have a piano right here in front of me, if I start playing like, oh my God, it's going to be terrible. So that's equivalent to blowing my account. So I need someone to teach me how to play the piano. Yeah, exactly, Doji Man. The course is much less expensive than the market losses. Just take a look at your performance within the last month, within the last year, within the last years that you have been trading. And you tell me, you tell me, is it worth it not knowing how to trade or is it worth it for someone? And literally I poured all my information in there. So I, what I did is I funneled and I brought 20 years of trading experience, compacted everything into five hours to fast track you. So you don't need to spend 20 years. You don't need to spend five years. Hey, Julie, you signed up. Awesome. I will see you in course. You're going to love it. Welcome to the family, Julie. Yes, the monthly fee includes the room only. There's no other additional activity. Although we do laughing sometimes. <laughs> we laugh a lot. We have a lot of fun. And by the way, Laura, where's Mark? Where's Mark? <laughs> laughs are free laughs are free okay everybody so thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to show you what i do for a living and it would be my pleasure to help you and to see you guys succeed and to get you to uh literally accomplish or all, all your financial dreams okay he's in iowa so he's lost in the cornfield in iowa Okay, thank you. Gracias. Juliana, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Alvin. I appreciate you being here today. Laura, tell him I said hi. <laughs> and we miss him. The recordings will be sent out today uh, around lunch. Okay, so I hope you guys can listen. I'll re listen to the recordings. Listen to the pre-market game plan. It's a stereotype that I built in there so you can learn a lot and you could actually do the same on your side. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, everybody. Really appreciate your presence. Thanks so much. I will see you guys. So excited to see you guys. As soon as tomorrow, I see a lot of you guys signed up for the training room. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And of course, we're looking forward to working with you in the course. Thanks so much, everybody. Have, have a really great weekend ahead. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.